Hey, what's up, guys? Chip Waters here uh, uh, for another series uh, on Unity and VR. What I want to do today is I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, some textures, how to build PBR textures. First, I'm going to go into SketchUp, and as you can see right here, I'm just doing some basic. I'm going to build a little scene in SketchUp. SketchUp is great for Unity, as you guys know. It's kind of a secret weapon. If you know how to use SketchUp, it really helps uh, when you're trying to build photorealistic scenes in Unity. Now, they're not necessarily the best optimized for game scenes, uh, but they are great for VR because you won't really want uh, uh, high quality images and high quality, uh, h higher numbers, numbers of polygons uh, for v VR. So, and furthermore, you don't care as much that things aren't optimized perfectly because you're not having to load a lot of different levels and move and, and, and work with the lowest common denominator platform. So here I am uh, basically just building a quick little, a little deck uh, uh, just uh, using this push pull and some of the other features um, and as you can see uh, uh, I'm uh, uh, you know doing what you guys typically do uh, in terms of creating uh, objects and then grouping them and as you group them uh, they become uh, they don't stick to anything else and so it's very easy to move around and, and, and later modify them because we're going to want to actually put some textures on these objects now as I mentioned to you before you can actually add textures uh, in SketchUp uh, just by dragging materials on and then changing them in Unity and that will work um, and the UVs there are uh, are okay they're not great for some things and it turns out there and a lot of times the UV mappings are just so incredibly high so I'm what I'm doing is I'm adding some textures right now to uh, these side these objects and what I'm doing by doing this is every time I add a texture uh, SketchUp is building its own uh, map is building its own uh, UV map for that surface before then it doesn't have any so let me show you a little bit about what I'm talking about so here's SketchUp a SketchUp texture that we put on this box <clears throat> actually uh, let's actually just put it on the actual faces of the box so let's select all the faces and put them on there okay now uh, notice how many how many squares and grids there are on there there's a lot notice also when you move it back and forth the texture doesn't expand and actually the UVs are expanding with it so I'm going to use something called Sketch UV and hold on one sec. So yeah, let me go real quick and show you this guy's site. It's extension warehouse guy's named Dale Martin's what he's also done artisan, which is a pretty cool tool. It's called Sketch UV. The reason why I use it is because it's really brain dead simple on how to apply uh, UV. So let me show you how it works. So basically uh, double click uh, or, or uh, you, you click on all the surfaces you want and then you click on little Sketch UV button and you hit box map and box map will actually create a map for you and then you can use the asterisk key to, which times if you want to if you want to in increase the resolution of the map or the divide key if you want to reduce the resolution that's what we've done right there so I'm going to basically go and explode this character into all the different component parts and I want to basically so I can map all of them at once now one of the things that I do here is I am using uh, cube mapping right because cube mapping one is it doesn't require that you have to go into a special view and two it works really well with unity now some of the other ones I find don't work as well in fact we're going to do a little quick test here to show you what I'm talking about in just a second but here I did it I selected all the polygons or right clicked on it with the sketch UV and now I'm adjusting the size with the asterisk and the uh, the times button the asterisk button and the other uh, and the other now I'm going to add a, a quick sphere let's let's take a look at uh, 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 the sphere tool let's, 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 let's take a look at how we map this now you would think the right thing to do would be to spherically map it and uh, we're gonna do a quick test here to show you how that works uh, right click we're gonna go up here say excuse spherical map again select all the fa faces that you want to map now notice that when I start adjusting them it actually starts going crazy wonky that's because I need to be in any other than, than cube I need to be on a, a in a projection plane so now I've done the same thing and I've divided it uh, divided it by three or something like that and now we've got a, uh, 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 a properly UV map spherical map now I'm gonna do another map and this one I'm gonna do cubicle map so I'm gonna take the same thing go in here and right, right click and, and box map it then I'm gonna adjust the actual uh, the, the sizes again uh, and here I am doing that and uh, once I'm done here I'll have uh, all these objects that are ready to go the last thing I need to do is just go through and each one of these select all the polygons in the actual uh, group right click on them click the sketch UV icon and map them the, I like the, the default mapping is fine always use the box box mapping for this again works great 
this also will help uh, as we move forward. It also helps in the lighting too, just so you know. So um, what we're going to do next is uh, uh, let's, let's move that. Let's, let's change the actual resolution. I'm going back into it. All I need to do is select it, and I can hit the divided by five button over on the uh, on the, the request on the right, and, and I'm good to go. So next, we're going to actually import this into Unity 5.6, which has got the new progressive mapper. Uh, progressive renderer, which I think is really exciting. Don't forget, when you save objects, you have to save them in SketchUp version 2015. That's important. So, thanks. Bye.